Welcome back to another episode of Life of a Videographer. So today I wanted to talk about some past experiences. This one time I was hired to do a grand opening. I had hired maybe three photographers and I was a videographer, but you know, I turned the camera off and uh, kind of walked away and something happened. Uh, oh man, did something happen, but Anyway, uh, I was able to work through that, thank God, but it was an experience. It definitely <laughs> taught me a lot that day. I mean, I met, I mean, I probably went overboard with the photographers, but again, this is the life of a videographer. You know, you got to capture that moment and you probably only want to get one shot at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I had, you know, hired some family members who helped me out, who has helped me out in the past and continue to help me out, um, for little or nothing. I mean, they definitely came on board and, you know, worked for pennies, you know, um, but just wanted to help see me succeed. So boy, me as a videographer, I figured I'm, I'm the one that's going to record the moments and, you know, make sure the sound's correct and make sure I got the camera pointed to where it needs to be at every time. So I did talk, you know, and communicate with uh, the client as well as the host, you know, the host is the person that was kind of running things and, um, you know, you know, going off our schedule, you know, basically we're going to start here, we're going to start there, we're going to start, we're going to finish here. All right. So we did communicate about that. So I know where to have my camera at. But, uh, you know, everybody's eating. I figure, for me, I, I don't like recording people while they eat. So, you know, unless I'm doing a commercial, I'm helping out um, maybe the catering service or whatever, you know. And I might talk to, you know, some people that's sitting there and ask if it's okay if I record a little video. And they give me the okay. I normally would do it. But other than that, normally I'm just pressing stop and take out the time for me to run over there and grab something to eat. Which remind me, as a videographer, feed yourself, man. Grab something in the morning so you're not sitting there with your stomach growling. You can, you know what I mean, not only the audience can hear it and the camera hear you, you know, that, that thing could be embarrassing. But I've been there as well, you know, um, thinking, oh, well, it's not going to be that long before I'm able to put something on my stomach. I'll just stop on the way. But then, you know, you hit traffic and you lose a lot of time. But anyway, grab you something to eat. I don't care if it's one of those little snicker bars or something in that nature just to kind of get that stomach to quiet down but anyway so i'm sitting there i'm like well everybody else is eating let me turn this camera off let me run over here and and eat so i'm sitting there and i'm you know waiting in line to get my plate i just happened to look over and i noticed the host is walking up with you know let's just say the guest of honor and i'm like well, what's going on and i'm way on the other side of the building but i'm like what is they about to, did I leave my camera on? No. So I'm sitting there and my heart's racing. I'm like, oh Lord, and I'm sitting here. I got to bust through a crowd in order to get over there. So I'm looking and I did, you know, happen to look over and see one of the photographers. So they had eye to eye with me, you know, which is good. You always want to make sure you're checking in on your photographers. They're checking in on you. Y'all are communicating. But at this time, I didn't <laughs> have a way of communicating. We didn't have no mics or anything. So I'm basically like, press the button. Press the button. They're like, huh? I'm like, press the button. The record button. Press the button. You know, I'm trying to just explain it the best way I can, right? So they look like, huh? What are you talking about? I'm like, oh, Lord. Drop my plate. I mean, literally drop my plate. Scream, 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 scream. I'm running. I'm trying to get over. I'm like, scream, scream, scream. Boom. Finally press record. But I miss... I miss a little audio, just a little bit. Thank God it was only a little bit and I was able to recover. But what did I learn that day? First things first, communication. I should have went over and talked to the host and let her know, or whoever is the host, it could be him or her, you should always let them know what your next move is. If you're changing batteries even, or need a time to recharge your batteries, let them know. So I didn't take out time to run over and say, hey, 
I'm gonna grab something to eat real quick. So don't, you know, if you, you think you need to get things moving, just let me know. I'll press record, leave my camera recording, and we'll be good. But I didn't do that. So two things I learned. Again, communication. There was quite a few things. But I'm gonna talk about these two things. Communication. Make sure you let the host or your client or whoever know what you're thinking and what you're doing. Now, again, I didn't want to seem like I was a nuisance, but communication, letting them know is key, number one. But number two, I ran out and grabbed me one of these. And this is a external recorder by Tascam. And I did a short tutorial on them. Uh, this, well, you can find it on Video Pro Solutions. It's a short tutorial, but this little gadget here would have saved me the stress and the headache. So I went out and bought it because, you know, it has the XLR inputs here. Let me bring that a little bit closer real quick and see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, so it has the XLR input inputs, as you can see, and it's a nice little small, you know, portable unit. Runs off of double A batteries, four of them. But this also has a app that you can install on your cell phone. So you can control this from a distance, which would have been good. If I'm over there, I got my cell phone on me. I could have had this plugged into the DJ's PA system, you know, via through the XLRs or just the input. Um, and I could have pressed record using the app on my cell phone and I wouldn't have had to run from way over here to there. And I might have saved myself a few seconds, maybe even minutes. So I ran out and I picked up one of these and I recommend if you're doing documentaries or doing anything, get you an external recorder um, and that'll save you somewhat of a headache. So again, communication was number one. I should have made sure I talked with the host about you know, me taking a break. Uh, how I could have avoided that if I wasn't so greedy. <laughs> I could have ate something beforehand. So I recommend grabbing you something to eat so you don't have to rely on the food that's there. Um, and that way, again, your stomach's not growling. Now, if you don't have a unit like that, I could have easily grabbed my old cell phone. I keep this thing around, the screen's cracked, but um, you know, I can control the app from this as well. It doesn't have any uh, phone service, but it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And most of the apps I use, only require Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So if I didn't have that, I could have easily grabbed my old cell phone, you know, it's fully charged and plenty of memory. Um, I could have went in here and, you know, use the app to record audio, just left it on a DJ's desk or somewhere, you know, where it's out of harm's way uh, and out of sight from people just to pick up. And then I would have had backup audio, right? So these are things that I learned and I hope you'll take advantage of these past experiences of mine. Um, and again, check out some of the short tutorials, check out the other two videos in this series. There'll be a lot more. I'm doing this on day to day, God willing anyway, I'm gonna wake up every morning and talk about some of my past experiences. So I'm in with this. Remember to capture those moments and do the best for what you have. Till next video y'all, peace.